So let's study the differences between a Newtonian fluid and a non-Newtonian fluid. So the first point under Newtonian fluid is so the Newtonian fluids follow Newton's law of viscosity and for non-Newtonian fluids so non-Newtonian fluids they follow the power law fluid. Now let's move on to the next point. So for Newtonian fluids for Newtonian fluids the shear stress tau shear stress tau equals to mu times du dy mu times du dy that is the shear stress is linearly changing with the velocity gradient but for non-newtonian fluids they follow the power law fluid which tells that tau equals to some constant a times du dy which is the velocity gradient whole to the power n n is the n is the flow behavior index plus some constant tau y so this is known as the power law of fluids this is known as the power law of fluid and this is known as the Newton's law of viscosity. So in this equation n represents the flow behavior index, flow behavior index. Now let's move on to the third point. So the third point under Newtonian fluid is the shear stress is linearly dependent on the velocity gradient. You can see that shear stress here is linearly dependent on the velocity gradient but for non-newtonian fluids the shear stress is not linearly dependent on the velocity gradient because we have this to the power n that is the flow behavior index which prevents it from linear dependence now let's move on to the fourth point so the fourth point under newtonian fluid says that the viscosity does not depend upon the shear stress viscosity does not depend upon the shear stress for newtonian fluids now in order to explain this let's plot a graph so if i plot a graph of tau that is the shear stress on the y axis and on the x axis i take the velocity gradient that is du dy then according to newton's law of viscosity that is this equation i will get a straight line which passes through the origin which looks somewhat like this this will be the graph for the newtonian fluids and the slope of this graph the slope will give me the value of mu that is the viscosity so you can see that value of mu is constant because it is a straight line and the slope will be constant hence viscosity does not depend upon the shear stress for newtonian fluids but for non-newtonian fluids for non-newtonian fluids the apparent viscosity does depend upon the shear stress for non-newtonian fluids now what is apparent viscosity so the power law fluid says that tau equals to a times du dy that is the velocity gradient whole to the power n which is the flow behavior index plus some tau y now this can be rearranged and be written as a times du dy whole to the power n minus 1 times du dy plus tau y now this entire term inside the bracket is written as some mu dash times du dy plus tau y so this mu dash is known as this mu dash is known as the apparent viscosity this is known as the apparent viscosity and this apparent viscosity this apparent viscosity depends upon the shear stress this will depend upon will depend upon the shear stress this will be tau y over here so this was the apparent viscosity now if i plot the graph for non-newtonian fluids it won't be linear it won't be linear it will be a curve and depending on the type of curve we have various names for this non-newtonian fluid so various classifications of non-newtonian fluids are so depending on the flow behavior index that is this n we classify depending on this n value we classify non-newtonian fluids as dilatant pseudoplastic bingham plastic or thioxotropic we have different curves for this in the rheological curve now let's discuss the examples the fifth point are the examples for newtonian and non-newtonian fluids so examples of newtonian fluids are water kerosene petrol benzene etc and for non-newtonian fluids non-newtonian fluids are toothpaste milk blood etc there are a lot more but i am only giving three examples for now so these were the differences 
between Newtonian fluids and non-Newtonian fluids. Thank you.